Pakistan and East Africa blessed with some of the biggest and most beautiful bodies of water on the planet. In Pakistan, we have the Indus River, which stretches 3,200 kilometers from the Himalayan mountains to the Indian Ocean and carries more than twice as much water as the Nile. In East Africa, we have the Great Lakes, including Lake Victoria, the second largest freshwater lake on Earth. Unfortunately, these natural wonders aren't nearly big enough to provide rapidly growing populations living in largely arid climates with the water they desperately need. In fact, Pakistan and East Africa are two of the most water-stressed regions on Earth. And climate change is making the situation worse. That means less drinking water, less water to grow food, and less water that can be used to generate electricity and help lift people out of poverty. This situation is captured by the theme of this year's President Challenge for Climate Solutions. Every drop counts. In a world where temperatures are rising, the glaciers that feed rivers shrink, droughts become more severe, and water evaporates faster, forcing farmers to use more to grow their crops. We can't afford to waste water in a warming world. We need to treat our rivers, our lakes, our glaciers and our aquifers like the invaluable natural resources that they are. We can't let our future dry up. When people let the tap run while they brush their teeth, when they use their washing machines for less than a full load of laundry, when they boil more water than needed to prepare their food, whenever we waste water, we are effectively taking water away from someone else. And that someone probably needs it far more than we do. What can we do to make a difference both here at AKU, in our daily lives, and beyond our campuses? That's the question that this edition of the President's Challenge is asking. I'm looking forward to your participation and to your answers. Thank you.